but there are a lot of ways to make money without hurting your fellow Nigerian that is trying to survive in this. It's to say that they even go kidnap all the politicians where they give them problem. We go still say, okay, you are, you are fighting those that are causing the problems in the country. But they kidnap their fellow Nigerians that are going through the suffering that they are going through. Going through the problems in Nigeria like themselves. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Soma. I want to share the story of this Nigerian actress that her life has ended months after she experienced kidnapping and she was held for a while. Uh, let me read it to you guys. This one is from Vanguard. Vanguard has said, Nollywood actress Cynthia Okereke dies one year after kidnapping 12 months ago. He says uh, this is by Benjamin Joku and Shijoke Ulibe. He says this is not the best of times for the Nigerian movie industry as it has yet lost another vibrant actress Cynthia Okereke to the cold hands of death at the age of 63 years. That's not old though. <laughs> that is not old age though. It's not old age you know and he says Okereke died almost one year after she was kidnapped alongside actor Clemson Connell, Nonyelu, popularly known as Agbogidi, while filming in Enugu last year, she went to work and she was kidnapped at work. She's an actress, so that was her job. Okay, and he says, confirming the sad news to Vanguard News, Mr. Ima Onyemeziem, chairman, actor's guide of Nigeria, Delta State uh, chapter, said, well, Okereke died after a brief illness. His Enugu state counterpart, Mr. Ene Brown, also confirmed the sad news, saying the veteran actress had been suffering from high blood pressure and diabetes for some time. I want to address this because you see that experience she had is enough to cause high blood pressure. I don't know if she's had it for years, right? But if she did, that can even make it worse. It's a, a, a terrible thing to be facing kidnappers and knowing that your life can be ended like this now like you can't guarantee what the kidnappers would do for her to have gone through that ordeal and come out if she didn't have high blood pressure before that's enough for her to have it and if she had it that's enough to have caused more problems for her health do you know that somebody like that even after being released may still be very paranoid and very traumatized that every day she goes out she's panicking who is this person why is that person looking at me that that can make her blood pressure, you know, bad. Another thing about diabetes is once high blood pressure enters, other things can start happening. Heart failure can happen. Diabetes can, there's so many other things. Once people get high blood pressure and, you know, it's giving them problems, other problems can come with high blood pressure. At the end of the day, let's be honest, the kidnappers that did this to her, they too will die someday. That's the fact. But at the same time, even if we say she was still going to die now, you know, isn't it sad that she had to experience something like that before she died? Isn't it sad that Nigeria had to happen to her that way even before her death finally came? Wouldn't it have been better if something like that was never part of the life that she had to live? A trauma she didn't have to go through. But she experienced that. I think it's 11 months plus after her life is gone. I don't know. Uh, the kidnappers, they will know the news now because she's popular. I know that that woman, they did that too. Her life is... I know some of these people have no conscience. You know, her life is gone. But their own lives will go someday too. And I hope they'll be willing to account for their actions. Let me tell you guys, there are a lot of ways to make money in Nigeria. If you want to make legit money, Nigeria is tough, let's be honest. But there are a lot of ways to make money without hurting your fellow Nigerian that is trying to survive in this. It's to say that they even go kidnap all the politicians where they give them problem. We go still say, okay, you are, you are fighting those that are causing the problems in the country. But they kidnap their fellow Nigerians that are going through the suffering that they are going through. Going through the problems in Nigeria like themselves. She had been managing herself all this while, he said. In an emotional post on, on his Instagram page, filmmaker and actor Joseph Okechuku described the deceased as an amazing, decent, and lovely soul to be around. Adding that he is shattered beyond words following Okereke's sudden demise. Um, he wrote, rest in peace, Wanyoma. Um, Wanyoma is like a good woman. He said, I'm shattered beyond words. The fact that I was about to pay for your flight ticket to come to finish what we started only to hear 
you went to be with the Lord last night is one of the toughest things I've ever had to deal with in recent times. I pray I'm able to recover from this shock. Life is really just a mist. One minute you have it, the next minute you don't. For the more than 20 years that I've known you, you've been such an amazing, decent and lovely soul to be around. I never imagined you would exit so unceremoniously. Words fail me. Sleep well, Cynthia. May your gentle soul rest until we meet again in glory. Okay, this is the area I want to talk about. He says, recall that the actress was kidnapped in Enugu alongside her colleague, uh, Clemson, 29th of July, 2022, while returning from a movie location at Ozila Town in Enugu State. They were later released unhurt by their abductors days after they were declared missing. It's, however, believed that the actress rarely overcame Rarely ever overcame the traumatic experience until death. It's possible that that was what ended her life. You know? So at the end of the day, I just felt sad. Let me tell you, everybody will leave this world at some point. But it's really sad when your fellow human beings played a part in a negative way in your lifetime. Do you know what I mean? The fact that this woman had to go through that is what just breaks my heart. She had to experience that. And I believe the trauma never left. The other day I came across a video of a Nigerian rich guy. Um, he, he was living abroad. He went to Nigeria. He opened a hotel and all of that. He was narrating. A grown man was narrating his own story of being kidnapped. And he was crying like a baby. A grown man. And this is years ago. And yet he was crying like a, a child. That would tell you how traumatic experiences like that can be. That would tell you. Let me tell you guys. You can be and say Nigeria is tough, Nigeria is tough. There are people that are still in that tough Nigeria and they have never chosen a life of crime. They may never be billionaires, they may become, but they are able to be satisfied. It's okay, I have food though, I have roof over my head. They continue without a legit job and they stay just that stable life and they are content with it. But a lot of people that want to go to Kines because they don't want to do the other kind of... You know, like, you know what's even the, the, the interesting thing is that for you somebody to wake up and take a gun and say, I want to go kidnap, that means they have a liver. I'm sorry, that's pigeon English. They have courage, bravery to dare to do such a risky job. Why don't invest that courage? Why don't use it as a tool in your life to chase other jobs? There are truck drivers are in high demand. As far as I know in Nigeria, there are a lot of other jobs. There are actually people that go from door to door to say, Oh God, do you want to wash your car? You bring your car, pack it on the street. They wash your car for you. You take your car back into your house. You may have to wash a lot of cars to make your daily bread, but it's a legit job where you're not hurting anyone and you're not putting your own life at risk too because when you are caught, you are gone. You don't have to take the extra risk. The lot, even the so-called abroad were saying life is... So people knock on our door sometimes and say, do you want me to wash your windows? They come with ladders. Then you climb the ladder and wash the upstairs windows. And you pay them whatever. They go from door to door. Those are legit jobs. There are a lot of other ways. Don't be the reason why your fellow Nigerian that is suffering will have to go through such traumatic experience. They are not the cause of your problems. Why should they suffer for your problems? Why should they go through such pains? Because of you. I saw this woman's story. I, I honestly, it made me really sad. You know, I'm like, why? You know, the fact that she died months later after that experience. You know, it just broke my heart. I said, no matter what her journey in life could have been, wouldn't it have been nice if that particular part, the kidnapping part, was never part of it? Wouldn't it have been great? I don't know. Anyways, I saw that story I wanted to share with you guys. As always... You know, leave your opinions in the comment section. Actually, can you, I, I would like to know, especially those in Nigeria, or if you may be living abroad, but have idea. Can you write in the comment section other legit ways to make, you know, income in Nigeria that a lot of people have not tapped into? Give people ideas. And hopefully there's somebody right here that's watching this video and agreeing and saying, it's true, you know, what someone is saying is true, you know, and they are not into life of crime, but they would love to have this kind of ideas. Please, let's leave them ideas in the comment section. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.